Hi, my name is Elizabeth Crispaluzzi. I publish a blog called Tech for Luddites, providing tips and tricks for navigating the digital world. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload a PDF file into a WordPress blog post or web page, and then how to download it once it's up there. So when it comes to uploading a PDF file into a WordPress blog post, it's really just the same as uploading any other kind of media, like an image. And it doesn't have to be a PDF file for that matter. You could upload a Microsoft Word document, an Excel spreadsheet, PowerPoint presentation. So what we're going to do is we go over to the dashboard and we're going to add a new post. And we're going to add media. Now one thing you should know is when you upload any kind of file into WordPress, you should try and make sure that the file name is all lowercase and if it has multiple words in it that you use hyphens. These are considered best practices for uh, files on websites for various reasons. So basically we're just going to go, we're, we've inserted media, we're going to upload files and we're going to take, uh, I have a sample PDF I created, notice again all lowercase with a hyphen in between. And when you upload that, look over to the right because this is where we need to add some extra information. Now, the title should be Real English. This is going to help you find this file if you're searching, you know, if you have a lot of files in your media library, it's going to help you find it. Uh, so I'm going to just change this to, um, it shouldn't just be Real English, it should be the text that you want to link to the download. So in this case, I'm going to say download. PDF file. And you'll see when we look back at the post exactly what I mean. Now PDFs normally don't need captions so you can skip that field, but it is a good idea to put some kind of a description of what's here because again that will help you find it if you're searching through a large media library. You want the attachment uh, to, to link to the media file. That means that when you click on it it will actually uh, bring up the PDF. But I want you to notice underneath it there is a URL for uh, there is a URL for this file and why that's good to know is if you wanted later, if, for example, if you wanted to have a cover image of the PDF and you wanted to link to it or uh, any other kind of image, then you could take this URL and uh, use that for your hyperlink. But we're just going to go ahead and insert it into the post. And now you see, remember when I said that the title should, should be the words that you want to appear? Well, there you go, download PDF file. Now you may uh, have done that and then you might change your mind about what you wanted that to say. So you can go into the text tab and you will see here's the link and it says download PDF file. Um, if you want to change that text, you can just go in and do that without having to change it on the media directory or in the, in the media library. Go back to visual and now it says download this PDF file. So I'm going to save the draft and preview it. And again, just like with any other file, if you want to download the PDF, just right click on it. And then you can either save link, depending on the browser you're in, it might say save link as or save target as. And that will bring up a dialog box to save it to your computer. And that's really all there is to it. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm Elizabeth Crispalusi with Tech for Luddites. Thanks for watching and have a great day.